All right, so we are doing question six of exercise 5a. And in question six, they give us the set B, which is 7, 11, 25, 30, and 32. And then in the questions, they ask us to find, well, when does B intersect with this interval or with this interval, or what's the union of B with this interval? And what I've done for each question is simply put in a number line and put in all the points of B. So 7, 11, 25, 30, and 32. And this is just going to help us visualize it if you're having trouble with this question. So let's now zoom in to uh, question A. Zoom right in like this. Perfect. And what we're being asked to do here is find the intersection point, the intersection point of negative 2 and 10 with B. So let me begin by putting in this interval. So it's going to be negative 2 all the way to 10. And I have a uh, round brackets here. So it's going to be an open circle. And then I have a closed bracket here. Sorry, a, squ a square bracket. So it's going to be a closed circle. So it's going to look like this. Perfect. And now I'm being asked to find the intersection point of this interval with the points in my set B. And hopefully it's clear to you that the only place where I have an intersection is 7. 7 is that place where I have an overlap. So therefore my answer to the first question will simply be 7. And don't forget your curly brackets. It's because that's the point of intersection. That's the, uh, the element that both of these things share. Perfect. Let's now go on to question B. And again, I have my points of B already in there. And now I'm going to put in my interval 3 to infinity. So it will be from 3. And it's a round bracket here. So I'm going to have an open circle. And it's going to be all the way to infinity. And I'm asked to find, again, the intersection point of this interval with the set B. And hopefully you can see now that the points that these two share are actually everything inside B. So I have 7, I have 11, I have 25, I have 30, I have 32. All of these are the places where I have an intersection. The places where they, both of these things share these points. So my answer is going to be... I could either write just B, that would be correct, or, or if I wanted to, I could write in all the elements of B. So 7, 11, 25, 30, and 32. These are the elements that they both share. Perfect, let's now move on to C. Now C is asking us to do something a little different. We don't have intersection anymore, instead we have the union. But before we worry about that, let's just write in my interval, which is 2 to infinity. And it's going to be an open circle here because it's a round bracket and include everything there. So it's all the way to infinity. And now it's asking me to find the union of it. So it's not simply the places that uh, share, but it's rather telling me, you know, I want everything here and everything here. What is it all together? What is it all together? And hopefully what you can see again is that my B exists within this interval. But now, what my final answer is going to be, and I, I might just write this down first, then explain it, it's going to be 2 to infinity. Because what it's asking me to find is everything all together, the summation of it all. So it's really asking me to find all of this. This is everything, the union of them both. Because what I'm finding is, is that I want to include, I don't want to include 2 because I have an open circle there, but then I want 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 8 and 9 and 10 and then everything between 11 and 25 and everything between 25 and 30 and then I want 30, I want 31, 32, then I want everything all the way to infinity. It's the addition of everything. And that just so happens to be 2 to infinity. And people might get a bit confused because it's simply that here. But hopefully you can see that when I'm finding the union, I'm finding everything all together. All right, let's now move on to my last question. And it's an intersection question. So we're familiar with these. So again, it's intersection. And I'm not going to freak out. I'm going to begin by writing down my interval, 25 to infinity. So it's going to be actually 25, not including it all the way to infinity. And now we're asking, well, what are the points 
uh, what are the elements that are shared between these two things, between this interval and my set B? And hopefully you can see it's going to be 30 and 32. Some people might get tricked and put in 25, but remember that this interval isn't including 25. I have a round bracket. That's why I have an open circle and it's telling everything greater than 25, but not including it. So that means my final answer is going to be fancy brackets, 30 to 32. Perfect, and we have just answered everything in question six of exercise 5a. Hopefully this has been helpful to you.